Ladies and gentlemen and children of the planet Earth, this is that crazy bastard from Howard Beach once again bringing you some kind of crazy thought process, including the fact that today is 6-11-2011. And even though 6-11-2011 is not 9-11, you can almost make 9-11 out of it by reversing it, inverting it, and transposing it to where the number looks like 9-11. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, and you can rest assured that the Zionist Jew bastards, as I like to lovingly refer to them as, are going to, to cause some kind of catastrophe today because today is 6-11 and for some reason they love fudging with the numbers and doing evil deeds. Now, it could be that you won't know about this evil deed because it was done behind closed doors. And I know this for many reasons, but I know it in my heart because on the morning of 9-11 I woke up and wrote down in my journal that some sort of catastrophe that was going to occur with police and firemen and a great explosion. I wrote it in my journal. Moving past that, and there's a lot of information to cover. In the year 1776, the United States was formed. There's a reason for that number, and it's inside my book, Angels on the Ark, by Michael Fazio. But in the year 1976, on or around the 4th of July weekend, I was reading the Bible, a.k.a. Psalms 23, and I had just bought the Pink Floyd album that had the song Psalms 23 engraved into the vinyl. And as the song was on the record player, because we used to have records, I was reading the words in the Bible as if the words and the song lined up. And no one knew what those words meant back then because no one really knew about Psalms. We were kids. We weren't religious theologians. And that was when I discovered that there's some sort of a mystical alignment between Pink Floyd the Bible, and I used one dollar bills to mark the page, and it had a specific number on it that I forgot, but I remember it was an important number, and that's when I discovered that Pink Floyd, the Bible, and the one dollar bills had a great deal to do with each other, maybe because there was a pyramid on the Pink Floyd album. I don't know which came later on, but they revered, they revered the pyramid logos, because it goes back. Now what I can tell you is that on the one dollar bill that I spent the next 34 years researching and writing about that the pyramid on the back of the one dollar bill or the reverse that this eye is not the eye of Horus. It is the eye of the Lord God. And the reason that it is the eye of the Lord God is because this entire green object inside the white borders is an identical replica to scale of the Ark of the Covenant given unto Moses by the Lord God on the Sermon on the Mount. And I can prove that and do prove it in my book, which is 100% refundable from Amazon.com. If you don't like it, just send it back. They give you back your money. Angels on the Ark by Michael Fazio, Amazon.com, or my website, www.angelsontheark, and I'll refund your money. But either way, it's 1,990 pages of the craziest crap you'll ever read in your life. It's about Zionism. It's about the world government. It's about numerology. But more to the point, it's about the 3,300 pictographs that appear from different civilizations, different religions, different philosophies, different ways of life, different belief systems, all having graphics pictograms, ideograms, or glyphs on the back or reverse and obverse or front of the one dollar bill. There are 3,300 of them. Doesn't matter whether you believe me, they're there. Moving past that, the eye above the pyramid is the eye of the Lord God. Could be the eye of Horus because the Zionist Jew bastards have hoodwinked you into believing so. That is why the name of my channel is Hoodwinked by an Angel, because you have been hoodwinked by Satan. But moving past that, if everything inside the compass 
with the pyramid in it represents the first 17 verses of Genesis, that means I'm right. And everything does represent the first 17 verses of Genesis. Let there be water, there's water. Let there be light, there's light. Let there be land, there's land. Let there be a seed within a seed. The trees on either end of the pyramid. Let there be heavens with moisture in them. There are heavens with moisture in them. Everything in the first 17 verses of Genesis is in the God pod. I coined the phrase, I wrote the book because of the God pod and the evil seed of death, which has a picture of an eagle, which is a killing machine. It only serves one purpose, it kills. But more to the point, the devil turns your world upside down. So let's turn his world upside down so we can see him. And now, when you look at the Satan, he's the devil, or the chief, or the chief thin with the bow and arrows represented as the bow or bow of supposedly olive branch and the arrows. But really that's a representation of the 44th POTUS that looks like a cartoon character that's always shooting things. Moving outwards, I can tell you this is a perfect representation of the Ark of the Covenant because on either side that looks like leaf life structure are the seraphim with six winged seraphim. At the hinge points on the seraphim that I depict in my book are six wings. It's all figured out. There's a hundred pages that only has to do with the seraphim which is on the back of the one dollar bill and described in the Bible. These are seraphim. These are six winged creatures. When you look at them from a certain angle they look like a bull or an angel, or a lamb, or a lion, depending on the angle that you look at them for. The, the Lord God's first commandment, the Lord God has said, let there be one God, thou shalt have no other gods before me, in the center of the one dollar bill. In God we trust one. That's right ladies and gentlemen, that's why scum bomb ass, who I prefer to call the animal in the White House because we are animals, he is in the White House, therefore scum bomb ass is the animal in the White House. Or my loving term for the scumbozo is scumbama. Or the chimp in charge, but the best one yet is the 44th Pustang. Either way, his mission is to destroy this world. His job is to destroy America from the inside out. He's not an American citizen, so when America collapses, they'll blame it on the fact that they all got fooled. But you know what? They didn't get fooled. They're just fucking you, the American public. The Zionist Jew bastards, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they're just fucking you. They're fucking you every day, today included. When you wake up in the morning, you should ask not what your country can do for you. You should ask what scum bombers is fucking you out of today. Moving back to God, because I'm a very God-like individual, by the way. The seraphim appear inside the compass, and when you look at my book, there's 1,990 pages of description. I didn't do it for nothing, and even if I'm 100% wrong, you will still have fun reading it because it's completely insane shit. If 300 billion people, 300 billion people looked at the fucking dollar bill since the year 1934 and not one of them, not even fucking one person in all of history ever said, hey, that one dollar bill has words in the Bible that describe it. Or the one dollar bill is the Ark of the Covenant. Nowhere in history have you ever seen or heard anybody say this crap, even if I'm the only person in the history of the whole planet Earth that has made the connection between the one dollar bill and the Bible. Even if there's not, even if I'm wrong, I'm 100% wrong, let's say it's all bullshit. I am still the only person that put forth that theory. It should sell, but it's not selling because the Zionist Jew bastards that run, the Zionist Jew bastard media moguls that run every aspect of what you fucking people think every fucking day they embed 
bullshit into your mind. Cats, dogs, fucking pictures of flowers, pictures of shit that happened 50 fucking years ago that don't have anything to do with reality. Every day, the Zionist Jews ram some kind of bullshit up your ass because they put fluoride in the fucking water, because they got Fukushima fucking you with no information. They just shove it into your ass every fucking day. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. This is Michael Fazio from the Florida Keys saying I hope you have a nice day and if someone can sell my idea I'd appreciate it. I need to get a bigger camera.